بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ یونٹ نمبر نائن یونٹ نمبر نائن دا ٹائٹل آف دس یونٹ از آل از ناٹ لاسٹ آل از ناٹ لاسٹ دا میننگ آف دس فریز اور دس ٹائٹل دس ٹائٹل اور دس فریز از یوزڈ ٹو سجیسٹ that there is still some chance of success or recovery okay means abhi bhi chance baki hai sab kuch khatam nahi hua okay still there is a chance of recovery there is chance of uh, success so in this sense this phrase is used all is not lost abhi bhi hum kamyab ho sakte hain abhi bhi hum kuch kar sakte hain so this story is in fact about the struggle of a nurse who is working in a in a hospital okay let's start uh, first paragraph it was the beginning of my profession as a nurse the nurse herself is telling the story okay she says it was the beginning of my profession as a nurse i worked in the in the intensive care unit icu of the neurology ward as a young professional i wished to save the world i was excited to see the patients making quick recoveries from devastating accidents yet i was pained to nurse those who were struck with their acute neurological disorder right in the first paragraph uh, she is telling us about herself that how she was ambitious about his profession so she says it was the beginning of my profession underline this word as a nurse i worked in intensive care unit icu okay short form of intensive care unit okay of the neurology ward neuron neurology ward as a young professional i wished to save the world i was excited to see the patients making quick recoveries from devastating accidents yet i was pained to nurse those who were struck with acute neurological disorder now see the explanation it was the beginning of my profession profession mean job career job as a nurse in nurse ke ibtedai dino ke meri baat hai i worked in the intensive care unit okay there are in every hospital there is intensive care unit jahan pe bahut sakht qisam ke jo mareez hote hain unko rakha jata hai uh, intense from intense extreme or care unit okay جس کو اردو میں انتہائی نگہداشت کا یونٹ کہا جاتا ہے وہ والا وارڈ جہاں پہ سویئر اور بہت کریٹیکل قسم کے جو پیشنٹس ہوتے ہیں ان کو رکھا جاتا ہے آئی سی یو اسے کہا جاتا ہے شی واز ورکنگ ان انٹینسو کیئر یونٹ آئی سی یو آف دا نیورالوجی وارڈ اوکے دا وارڈ آف نیورالوجی نیورالوجی از دا سائنس آف ڈس آرڈر ان نرو سسٹم اعصابی نظام جو انسان کو ہوتا ہے اس میں اس کے بارے میں جو سائنس اور جو تعلیم ہوتی ہے اس کو نیورالوجی کہا جاتا ہے اوکے نروس سسٹم انسان کا تو یہ نروس سسٹم جہاں جہاں پہ لوگوں کے نروس سسٹم خراب ہو جاتا ہے وہاں پہ ان کا ٹریٹمنٹ کیا جاتا ہے ہاسپٹل میں دیٹ از کالڈ نیورالوجی نیورالوجی کا شعبہ یا نیورالوجی وارڈ ایز اے ینگ پروفیشنل آئی وشڈ to save the world میں نے میری خواہش تھی I wish to save the world کہ میں ساری دنیا کی حفاظت کروں I was excited to see the patients making quick recoveries recovery mean getting back improvement from, uh, to gain health دوبارہ سے صحت مند ہونا okay? from devastating accidents devastating mean destroying crushing okay مینس کے تباہ کن ایکسیڈنٹس جو ہوتے ہیں اور ہولناک قسم کے ایکسیڈنٹس ان سے جب میں ریکور ہوتے دیکھتی تھی تو مجھے خوشی ہوتی تھی کہ پیشنٹ ریکور ہو رہے ہیں یٹ آئی واز پینٹ آئی فیل پین ٹو نرس دوز 
who were struck with acute neurological disorder lekin mujhe takleef hoti thi un logon ko dekh ke who were struck who were affected by okay jo mutasir hote the with acute neurological disorder acute mean critical severe nazuk neurological disorder okay disorder mean infection disease okay jiska asabi disorder ho jata tha aur intahai critical kism ka uh aise mareezon ko dekh ke mujhe pain hota tha next paragraph one day standing at the beside of a young patient i wondered if she could make the same recover same recovery like others hira had received severe head and spinal injuries as she was hit by a speeding bus while crossing a busy road i took her i took her lifeless arms in my hands and tried to do several exercises on her but in vain also i asked her younger sister to come and talk to her thinking that the voice of a near and dear one might activate the nearly dead neurons she could see but not talk her eyes showed a certain helplessness i could read her mind through her eyes perhaps she wanted to say please help me okay see you again now one day standing at the beside of a young patient near by a young patient i wondered i wondered mean i thought wonder thing thought maine socha if she could make the same recovery like others kya ye bakiyon ki tarah recovery hasil kar kar legi recover ho jayegi hira had received who was the patient the patient was hira hira had received severe head and spinal injuries okay she had received severe critical and spinal head and spinal injuries okay usko sar ki aur backbone reed ki haddi ki chote lagi thi injuries hui thi as she was hit by a speeding bus while crossing a busy road ek busy road ko cross karte hue usse एक स्पीड में आते हुई बस ने टक्कर मारी थी जिसकी वजह से शी रिसीव्ड सीवियर हेड एंड स्पाइनल इंजरीज आई टुक हर लाइफलेस ऑन इन माय हैंड्स उसकी बेजान जो बाजू थे मैंने उनको अपने हाथों में लिया एंड ट्राइड टू डू सेवरल एक्सरसाइजेस ऑन हर बट इन वेन ओके मैंने उससे مختلف एक्सरसाइजेस कराई बट इन वेन useless on me jaan na saki also i asked her younger sister to come and talk to her thinking that the voice of a near and dear one might activate the nearly dead neurons maine uski behan ko kaha ki wo uske kareeb aaye usse baat kare why thinking that the voice of a near and dear near and dear mean family members or the people who are very close to someone okay bahut kareebi jo hote hain near and dear ye sochte ho ki kisi kareebi family member ki awaaz shayad uske dead neurons ko activate kar de uske jo asabi asab dead ho chuke hain ho sakta hai ki wo dobara se unme life aa jaye wo active ho jaye she could see but not talk हेरा कुट सी उसकी हालत ये हो चुकी थी कि वो देख सकती थी लेकिन ना तो वो हिल सकती थी ना ही बोल सकती थी हर आईज शोड अ सर्टेन हेल्पलेसनेस हेल्पलेसनेस वीकनेस और पावरलेसनेस बेचारगी जिसे कहते हैं उसकी आंखों से बेचारगी शो हो रही थी आई कुड रीड हर माइंड थ्रू हर आईज ओके आई कुड रीड हर माइंड through her expressions her eyes perhaps she wanted to say help me please help me shayad wo kehna chahti thi ki meri help kare lekin wo keh nahi pa rahi thi paragraph number 3 a fellow nurse came near me and asked rahila what are you doing 
it means the name of this nurse is Rahila. Okay. Fighting a lost battle. I was shocked at first to hear a colleague making a hopeless com comment. Then I replied, I am trying to make her brain process by her sister's voice. Also, I am doing my best to ensure that her arms and legs get proper exercise. This might help her walk like a normal person. Meanwhile, a senior doctor on duty walked in. He gave me an ironic smile and said, if you spend most of your duty hours on one patient, we will have to recruit more nurses to attend the other patients. Please go and see the other patients. We do not have much hope for her. I do not think that she can ever walk again. See again now. A fellow nurse came near me and asked, Rahila, what are you doing? Fighting a lost battle? Tum ek aisi jang lad rahi ho jo ke pehle hi hari ja chuki hai. Ek hari hui jang tum lad rahi ho. Means ke she wanted to say this is hopeless case. Iske koi umid nahi hai thik honne ki. Tum kham kha iske saath lagi hui ho. I was shocked at first to hear a colleague making a hopeless comment. I was shocked. I was deeply upset, stunned. मैं शश्तर रह गई, मैं upset हो गई और परेशान हो गई at first to hear a colleague, a fellow colleague, making a hopeless comment, remarks. Then I replied, I am trying to make her brain process by her sister's voice. मैं कोशिश कर रही हूँ कि उसका brain काम करना शुरू कर दे, process to work. काम करना शुरू कर दे बाय हर सिस्टर्स वाइज। अलसो आई एम डूइंग माय बेस्ट टू इंश्योर दैट हर आर्म्स एंड लेग्स गेट प्रॉपर एक्सरसाइज। दिस माइट हेल्प हर वॉक लाइक अ नॉर्मल पर्सन। मीनवाइल ड्यूरिंग दिस व्हेन शी वाज टॉकिंग टू हर फेलो नर्स ड्यूरिंग दिस मीनवाइल अ सीनियर डॉक्टर � he gave me an ironic smile. Ironic mean a uh, sarcastic smile, mocking, or uh, in Urdu we say, uh, tanz, tanziya leje me, tanziya amez, tanz ke andaz me wo muskraya, mazak ke andaz me wo muskraya, and said or kane laga, if you spend most of your duty hours on one patient, we will have to recruit more nurses to attend the other patients. अगर आप duty hours एक ही patient पे लगा देंगी, तो फिर हमें recruit करने पड़ेंगी और nurses, hire करना, enroll करना, नई बर्थी करना, हमें और nurses बर्थी करनी पड़ेंगी to attend the other patients, बाकी patients को देखने के लिए. Please go and see the other patients. आप जाइए, देखा patients को देखें. We do not have much hope for her. We do, we do not have much hope for this patient, Hera. I do not think that she can ever walk again. I do not think that she can ever walk again. Paragraph number four. I was upset. The advice to leave the patient unattended did not seem right. I knew that she had suffered from major neural damage but she needed to be given a chance and inner voice somewhere with me spoke try once for her right i was upset i was uh, said uh, upset the advice to leave the patient unattended mean ignored neglected did not seem right ye mashwara doctor ka ke isko आप छोड़ दें और इसको इग्नोर कर दें। It did not seem right. ये ठीक नहीं लगा। I knew that she had suffered from major neural damage. इसको major बड़ा neural damage इसका हुआ है। इसका ऐसा भी निजाम खराब हुआ है। 
uh, but she needed to be given a chance like in a square chance then achaye we should uh, try once for her and inner voice ek andar ki awaaz zameer ki awaaz somewhere kahin se with within me spoke mujhe andar se ek awaaz aayi aur mere zameer ne mujhe kaha ki try once for her ki iske liye ek dafa tum koshish karo right here is your homework for today's uh, lesson unit number 9 part 1 homework you will write the meanings of these words and you will make sentences by your own exercise 2 is answer the following questions answer okay what is an icu in a hospital number 2 describe the ambition and feelings of the nurse you can find its answer in the first paragraph to what extent the recovery of the patient depend upon the doctor and the nurse matlab doctor aur nurse ke upar kis had tak patients ki sehat depend karti hai why did the nurse ask heroes sister to come and talk to her what was the reason what did the senior doctor on duty say to rahila exercise 3 write the summary of the lesson means the lesson that today we have uh, studied okay first four paragraphs so you will make a summary of them 